1. What are the five principles of an effective logo design? Number 1. Unity. Unity can facilitate and explain your design in four ways, such as use of similar shape, use of different shapes filled with the same pattern, use of a shared background, and use of space. Number two, alignment. It's important to be consistent in the alignment of elements. When you look at the design and something doesn't feel right, play around with the alignment and see if the design can be improved. Number three, versatile. An effective logo works across a variety of media and applications. For this reason, logos should be designed in Victor format to ensure that they scale to any size. One way to create a versatile logo is to begin designing in black and white. Familiarize yourself with the commercial printing process so that you do not encounter printing problems down the line. Know the difference between the CMYK, Pantone, and RGB color systems. Number four, balance. You achieve balance in graphic design when you give the right visual weight to the various design elements. Factors that influence visual weight are position, orientation, isolation, quantity, color, value, size, shape, and texture. Number five, appropriate. How you position the logo should be appropriate for its intended audience. It is only by association with the product, a service, a business, or a corporation that a logo takes on any real meaning. It derives its meaning and usefulness from the quality of that which it symbolizes. 2. What must a logo have? Number 1. Simplicity. Simplicity is one of the hardest things to achieve and requires the most work, which is the inverse of what most clients expect. Simple logos are the ones people can recognize as soon as they see them. The simplest logos are the ones people remember the most. Number two, timelessness. A good logo should have 10 plus years of staying power and many can last decades. To have that shelf life, it shouldn't be so trendy as to look outdated in a couple of years, but be timely. Number three, Deep of meaning. The ultimate goal is for a logo to have a common, clear, and unifying interpretation, but also additional layers of meaning or symbolism that emerge over time as people experience the brand or see repetition of the logo. 3. What are the characteristics of a logo? Number 1. Memorable, impactful. A great logo should have a great impact. You must capture your viewers' attentions and leave a positive impression. Number two, scalable. A great logo should be simple enough to be able to be scaled down or up and still look good. Number three, relevant. A great logo should be relevant to your practice. It has to have meaning that relates to the work you are doing. And number four, distinction. Your logo should be distinct, designed to stand out from similar brands. Use design elements that fall outside of the current trends in order to create a strong visual impact.